Good evening. Have you ever left home for an extended period, only to find it very different upon your return? Or did you ever sense the people you knew best were keeping you out of something? Well, if you have, you'll know how a young man named Cameron feels in tonight's story. The school year has just ended, and Cameron is driving home with three classmates to his father's country resort. There'll be summer jobs for his friends, a reunion with an old flame for Cameron, and for someone else, a secret that must be silenced at all costs. Let's meet each of them as they recall the things we did last summer, the first of which takes place at the midnight hour. before you check out. I won't come in here. What? I promise, I promise, I promise. I won't come in here. No. Don't, don't. You know what? Someone might see us. No, 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 no. Nobody's gonna see us. Nobody's gonna see us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does it, does it hurt? You like it, don't you? Natalie! Oh, shit. That's Pearl. I gotta go. No, 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 just give me a few more minutes. No, no, I gotta go for you. If she sees something like this with you inside me, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. I gotta go. <laughs> nice. Thanks a lot, Natalie. Yeah, you're a real fucking tease. I'm not gonna be here when you get back, though. You hear me? Natalie, where are you? Wait here, hold on. What, what do you need? How about some help with dinner? I can't find Mark, James, or Rhonda anywhere. Um, that's weird, because I just saw Mark a few minutes ago on the greens, but I haven't seen James or Rhonda since lunchtime. Maybe they're so mad about getting written up. Do you think they might have walked? Well, it would be nice if they said something first. None of them are answering their phones, and I can't run this goddamn place by myself. I'll help you. Get Mark first. We need an experienced server. We'll move. Spoiling my summer vacation. <laughs> Gabe and I had a lot of fun planning for the next couple of months, and I'm sure Jennifer had some big plans too. Dude, shut up. You guys have been whining about not having any money all semester. Just be glad these jobs opened up last minute. Real glad. So tell me again how we got these jobs anyway, because last I heard your old man wouldn't even let you work. Well, that's because my old man lets his slutty new trophy wife, Perla, call all the shots for him. She hates me. No, who doesn't? <laughs> uh, very funny. Anyway, four employees took off without giving notice. 
basically didn't have time to hold interviews, so here we are, guys. The job's ours. Well, their loss is our gain. Perla sounds like a bitch, but how's your dad? How's he to work for him? Uh, he won't be working for him. He actually had a bad head injury last year that led to vascular dementia, so basically Perla runs his whole life these days. I haven't even heard from him in months. Well, call him. Well, to be honest with you, that's uh, easier said than done. I, Perla is one of those control freak wives, you know, answers the phones, the emails, everything goes through Perla. Well, hey, if she's a slutty trophy wife, I'm sure I'd like to go through her too. Oh, here, here. <laughs> you guys are disgusting. Is that all you ever think of? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Hey Jennifer, you still haven't even thanked me yet for getting you this summer job. I'll thank you when I get there and find out it's not a total disaster. Disaster? How could it be a disaster? You get to spend your whole summer with me. You get to know each other better. I'm not interested in getting to know you better. Ooh. You waste your time on this one, man. She wants to die a virgin. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Perla, where's dad? He's at the bungalow. What's a bungalow? It's a house we have adjacent to the golf course. You can't see him, though. His, he's been behaving very strangely, and his doctor says no visitors until the meds for his vascular dementia stabilize him. It takes a couple of months for them to really kick in. So wait, I can't see him for two months? That's bullshit. Why wouldn't you tell me this before we drove all the way from Illinois to get here? Sorry, I thought you knew. How the hell would I know, Perla? If you didn't tell me, and you won't put my calls through to him, explain to me how I would hey, know. Cam, take it easy, man. Cam, she only put him there for his own good. He's getting treatment. You should be glad. Great, so we've been here for two minutes and everyone's already on her side. Awesome. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. But I've been incredibly busy running this place, which reminds me, I need to give you guys your assignments. Follow me and I'll show you where to put your bags first. Cam, aren't you coming? Yeah. Later, man. First, I want to find Brittany. Who's Brittany? She's one of the regular employees here. She's kind of a skank, actually. I <laughs> nailed her one time behind the pool house before I transferred out of state. Hopefully, she's still open for business. <laughs> you slut dog. You know what I'm saying. Hey, if uh, she's not too stretched out afterwards, let me know. Guess who? <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? I don't like people sneaking up and grabbing me. Not even what's your old boyfriend, Cameron? You're not my boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. You do now. I'm back for the whole summer. <laughs> so what? So what? I, I don't understand. I, I thought we had a thing going. Well, then you thought wrong. I like to have fun, Cameron. I like meeting you guys. I do not like going back for seconds with losers like you. Hey, Cam. Is this Brittany? This is Brittany. Oh, hello, Brittany. I'm my kind of person. Thanks. You must be the new summer help. You guys look like a lot of fun. Glad you came. Wow. 
We didn't come yet, but take us back to your room and we will. <sighs> You see that old building over there? Take this key and use it to get in. There should be plenty of spare lunch trays and they bring back at least 20. Lunch trays, really? I'm a management major. I aced proprietorship accounting and marketing. I think I'd be a lot more valuable as your assistant manager. And I think you'd be a lot more valuable with an armful of lunch trays. Any questions? No, ma'am. Make it fast. There's already a line in the dining room. Whatever, bitch. Excuse me? What did you say? Nothing. Didn't sound like nothing to me. Listen, honey, if you don't want this job, you don't have to take it. There are plenty of other kids looking for summer work. All right, okay, God. I should be getting paid 800 bucks a day for this. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the boss, and I think you should be getting minimum wage. Consider yourself lucky. What are you waiting for? Move it! Uh, no, it's three bears. There's only bears. one wolf in Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, you guys. Draw straws or something. We need to decide who's going first. Shotgun. We have a winner. Hey, you mean a wiener? No bitter grapes, Dominic. Your turn's coming up next. Don't worry, buddy. Just be a minute. Oh, I'll throw under you. I don't doubt it. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, I'm looking for Perla. She's the manager here. Have you seen her? Um, not in the last few minutes, no. The last time I saw her, she was in the office area giving us assignments. Assignments? Do you work here? Yeah, for the summer. Oh, that's interesting. Do you know a summer employee named Natalie? No. We just started this afternoon. We? Yeah, some friends of mine. Uh, Cameron Donahue, his father owns the place. Oh, I see. All right. Well, good luck with the summer. Thanks.
<laughs> oh my god, Gabe! <laughs> Look what you've done! You made a musket off me! <sighs> You must eat a lot of oysters. Mm. Give me a few minutes to tidy up, then send Dominic in. God, it's everywhere. I wasn't there. <laughs> I think I actually lost weight. <laughs> Well, after four months in the dorm, I don't doubt it. Go get yourself something to drink. There, ready for round two. We just had to give her a couple minutes before you go back in there. She's not worn out, huh? Sounds good. Good luck. So sweet. <sighs> Why do you have the blanket over your head? Like anonymous sex or something? That's kinky. <sighs> hey, Brittany, are you close? I've got to finish up and get back to work. Jesus Christ, you scared the crap out of me. What are, you, what are you doing here? Sorry, I was just looking for someone. Who? Something wrong? First, tell me who you are. I'm Cameron Donahue. My dad owns this place. Oh, uh, so you're the son. I've heard about you from your stepmother. You know Perla? I was out here once before, but I'm looking for her now. Have you seen her? Well, she's not here. She's down in the compound. There's some housing across the fence where she lives with my dad. I already checked. She's not there. Why are you looking for her? We got a call from the parents of a young woman named Natalie. Uh, they've been looking for her for the last couple days, but she hasn't been answering her phone or email. Oh. Well, well, she's one of the summer employees who walked. She and a few others took off without giving me notice, and that's why I'm here to help out. Okay. I won't hold you up. I guess you're pretty busy, but if you do see Perla, let her know I'm looking for her. Sure. No problem. Why didn't you answer when I called? A little preoccupied. I thought you weren't coming over till tonight. Yeah, I wasn't, but this is official business. What's up with your employee, Natalie? Natalie? She left, so did the other summer help. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. What do you mean by that? Her parents haven't been able to get a hold of her in days. Sergeant sent me down here to look around. You haven't been up to anything I should know about now, have you? No. I had to reprimand her and the other kids for their poor performance. 
That's all. Mm. I hope so. Because that would change things between us. There's more to it. What? Did you like that? Mm. I always do. Well, then you'll love this. Sorry if I startled you, Perla. Gabe, what is it? Well, I, uh, I finished moving the uh, dining room tables and chairs the way that you wanted, and I always set up the patio for the pool also, so can I take a lunch break? Oh, uh, sure, that would be fine. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. Um, after you're done eating, will you check with Jennifer and see if she needs any help? Yeah, no problem. Where is she? I sent her on an errand in the Elf building. You want me to go now? No, no, after lunch will be fine. Okay, see ya. someone, Perla? The missing persons bureau, maybe? Cameron, what are you doing in my office? A better question would be, what have you done with my father? Nothing! He's at the compound like I told you! Liar! <laughs> I just came from there, and there isn't a trace of him. Everyone I've talked to says I haven't seen him in months. Now, what have you done with him? Nothing! Answer me! Answer me, or I'll tear you out! He's in the L building! The L building! You're lying! No, it's the truth! He's in the back room. I don't like him. I'm exactly crazy. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go see about that. Come on. Come on! Your friend. You killed my father. I swear to God! I will rip your throat out with my bare hands! Let's go. Get through it. Come on. You've been back here before. Let's go. Come on. No, I didn't. He died of natural causes, I swear. Oh, shit. It's true. A few weeks after his brain injury last year, the vascular dementia set in. They were giving him CAT scans when they found he was developing an aneurysm. They said it was only a matter of time before it ruptured and he would die. Why didn't you tell me this last year, you stupid bitch? I couldn't. Your father left everything to you in his will. I knew if you ever took over, you'd kick me out of here. That's why I made him send you out of state to school. And what about the dead cop? Didn't he die of natural causes too? All right, all right, I killed him. A few months ago, he found your father's body. I told him what happened and begged him to keep quiet, but he's been blackmailing me for money and sex ever since. Dumb bitch. Do you realize what you've done? You've ruined everything. It wasn't my fault. I never would have killed him, but I saw what you did to Jennifer earlier. What did you see? Answer me. What did you see? I came in a while ago and saw she had been shot. Suddenly I realized all the other summer help that disappeared didn't quit. They were killed by you. That's right, Perla. I killed the others. I drove all the way from Illinois to kill the kids that you hired. I knew without help, you'd be forced to hire me back with my friends. Your friends? What kind of maniac are you killing your friends? Was Jennifer my friend? Bounced me off like I had the plague. Was Brittany my friend, treating me like dirt? What about Dominic and Gabe, screwing the girl I love? Please put the gun away, please! I had it all planned out, Marla. I was gonna kill everyone and make it look like my demented father did it. I even used the same gun he had hidden in his office. But he's dead now, so that plan won't work. I loved your father, I swear! Oh yeah? You love my father. Why don't you show me how much you loved him? Why don't you give him a kiss? Give him a little kiss, Perla. On the mouth. Yeah. Kiss him, Perla. Kiss him. No! 
there's only one hope for me now, Perla, and that's if you commit suicide with the same gun used to kill everyone else. It might just work. <laughs> When she was tried for the murders of her summer employees, the fact that Perla had hidden her husband's corpse and defrauded his pension weighed heavily against her. Ironically, Gabe's damning testimony helped seal her doom while exonerating Cameron posthumously. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's story. Relive the fear every week at this same time. And join us again next month for an all-new episode of The Midnight Hour.